Advances in machine learning have enabled researchers at Penn to make communication between humans and mapping robots simpler and without the need for GPS. At its core, our technology helps robots answer the questions, uh, where am I and what's around me? So at a basic level, this is exactly what modern Roombas do when you drop them in your living room. They're equipped with cameras and they can tell how much their wheels have spun. And so as they move around your house, they build a map of all the obstacles in your room. It represents it as say there's a blob of something I shouldn't run into over here and there are legs that'll block my path in this direction, but it's not equipped with any higher level information. The Penn researcher's more advanced approach, Semantic SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping, merges existing SLAM technologies with machine learning algorithms. Uh, so we've applied modern machine learning techniques to uh, camera images to enrich these maps with what we call semantic objects. That is, instead of representing it in terms of just like blobs of stuff over here and over here, the map has objects. So it'll say there's a table here in this orientation and position. Um, there's, a, there's a chair in this corner. So you can think of, uh, say, an autonomous driving situation too, where you can imagine it's critical to know that that is a car in a certain orientation. The fact that we use vision and not uh, GPS even outside, there are a lot of situations like in uh, Manhattan or in a place with very high uh, buildings where uh, GPS uh, uh, is uh, very much uh, corrupted uh, by noise and interference. We get probably on the order of centimeter level accuracy. Even when you have kind of clear line of sights to GPS, um, say if you're out in a field even, um, there's no way you can get that kind of accuracy. There are many other applications one can think of about semantic SLAM technology. You can use the, say, the camera of your iPhone to make semantic maps of inside a home or inside your store. And you can use such uh, semantic uh, representations to, for example, do inventory management inside your store by counting, for example, how many boxes of a particular type, how many instances of this object you have inside your store. Another possible use would be for agricultural robotics. Imagine an unmanned aerial vehicle that can automatically track and count crops. I do think that going forward, one, one thing that would really help is to be able to push the technology and make this much faster to real time. A laptop where this technology runs right now, probably in the order of uh, $2,000. And this has to come down to $20. Uh, for me, scientists, uh, what has been always very exciting was the transition from technology to product. This is something that uh, we in research, we are not uh, very good at. And this is where uh, the talented students may be able to see far more applications than we with our narrow focus are able to do.